Hi everyone, my name is Sean Sals and I'm an integration engineer at Chainlink. Today I'm going to demonstrate our integration with Substrate and we're going to look at how we can use Chainlink to get the ETH to USD price written on a Substrate chain. Everything that we need for this demo is included in this repository, so we are just going to want to pull that down. From here, we want to run the Substrate node first. We can do that by running make run chain. This is going to compile the substrate node, which may take a while, and then it's going to start up. We know that it's running when we start seeing the box coming in here. The next thing we want to do is run the front end for this um, substrate chain. We can do that by running make run front end. This is going to start up a local server so we can see everything that's going on. Um, while that's setting up, we can run the um, uh, chaining components for this demo. We can do this by seeding into the substrate chain link directory. From here, all we want to do is run setup, and it's going to take care of everything for us. While this is setting up, we can look at the example module that we uh, have included in this substrate node. This module includes a function here to send a request that the chaining node is going to pick up on. And we can see right here the parameters for this request. Uh, we have the crypto compare ETH to USD URL and we get the price here. This is sent back to our callback function which saves this result on chain. Um, from the UI, um, we can see here the chain state and we can look at the example module to get the results. Since we haven't made any requests yet, we can query this and we will see that it's zero. While this uh, setup script is running, uh, we can see that it's uh, adding the external initiators to the three different chain nodes and starting them up. We can have a quick look at one of the chain nodes to see that it's setting up everything. The login for these um, chainlink nodes are not real at fakeemail.ch and the password is two chains. Here we can see the setup script has finished and if we go to the jobs tab, we'll see a new job here. And in the definition, we can see that it's using an external initiator, which is our subject node and runs HTTP get parses the result, multiplies the value, and then returns it back to the subset chain. Uh, at the end of the setup script, it's going to tell us to fund three different addresses with an amount here. So we're just going to do that quickly. Uh, these are the addresses for each of the chaining nodes, and these are the, the addresses that are going to respond back on chain. So once these are funded, uh, we are ready to send a request. Um, the, under the chaining header here, uh, we have a button to take care of uh, the whole request for us. Uh, we just need to click it and it's going to send a request and that's now included in the block. If we go back to the chaining node GUI here and head over to the runs tab, we can see a new completed job run here. We can see that it did an HTTP GET request and we got the response back here. Uh, it was multiplied and then sent back to the substrate chain with this transaction hash. If you go back to the substrate front end, we can query the result value again and we will now see that it's updated with the price that we got from the chain of node. So yeah. This uh, concludes the demonstration on how to use uh, Chainlink with Substrate. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Feel free to try it out yourself. And yeah, take care.